You all right? You look a little shaky. Yeah, it's just... Hayley nearly got hit by a car this morning. Nothing happened. It's just horribly close. That road just outside your place again? Yeah. The road's too fast for a built-up area. People are speeding. There's a school nearby. There are no pelican or zebra crossings. No speed bumps. There's no lollipop person at the beginning or end of the school day. I can't believe nothing's been done about it. Aren't you learning about gathering and analysing data on that maths course that you're doing in the moment? Yeah. Well, maybe you could record all of these near misses or the number of cars that pass the road on a certain time of day and send it to your local MP. C could I do that? Of course you could. The purpose of maths is to learn about the mathematical tools you can use to solve problems. Here, we want to build up some evidence to show that the road near your house is too fast, given that it runs past lots of houses and is close to a school. Now, we could simply write the letter and explain how we feel, but we could only say that in our opinion there is a problem with the speed of cars using the nearby road. Instead, we will use what we've learnt about data, tables and graphs to collect evidence to support our case. We can record things like the number of cars, the number of children, the number of near misses. This gives us data to work with. If we collect our data over one week, we can then multiply it to estimate what it would have been over a fortnight. We could even multiply it by 52 to see how many near misses there could be in a whole year. Once we have our data, we can plot it into tables and create graphs to tell our story better and convey to others what the problem is. So, how'd it go? Great. It's a lot better than writing a letter. I got a response straight away saying they'd speak to the council who would evaluate the issue. They can even measure average speed, which I couldn't, and look at a traffic calming scheme. Result. <laughs>